हेलो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर समबडी हु प्रैक्टिस इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग और आई और इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग देन यू शुड लिसन टू दिस रिपोर्ट अ रिसेंट स्टडी शोड दैट पीपल हु प्रैक्टिस इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग विद देयर ईटिंग विंडो ऑफ लेस देन एट आवर्स एज कम्पेयर टू दोज हु ईट विद इन ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन आवर्स विंडो पीरियड दे हैड मोर देन टू फोल्ड हायर रिस्क ऑफ डेथ फ्रॉम कार्डियोस्कुलर डिजीजेस and this was a study done in the us in involving about 20000 people and they have followed up for about 8 years now this study is not a randomized controlled trial so this study had limitations so number 1 it was observational in nature so we cannot prove cause and effect it only showed an association so this is uh, this study's report is not final and number 2 is that uh, the diet quality was not assessed in detail so only people were Uh, you no know, asked how many hours they complete their meals and that was less than 8 hours but what they ate in that 8 hours was not assessed and as you can understand the quality of food which is consumed also matters the third point is that uh, it was based on the recall and they were asked only two times in that uh, such a long period about this uh, dietary recall and the duration of eating so this may not be you know applicable for the entire follow up period and fourthly the underlying illnesses were not uh, asked for so you know that also can definitely matter in the ultimate outcome so uh, you know so based on st- what does it mean for you so basically it does show that people who do extreme intermittent fasting for a long duration that is eating all their meals within less than 8 hours they do they could have uh, increased risk of cardiovascular a diseases and uh, death due to them and but however many other studies have shown that uh, intermittent fasting has potential benefits like improving insulin sensitivity reducing uh, body weight and also you know uh, better for glycemic control lowering of blood pressure and many of these things and as you can understand these factors actually should lead to lower risk of uh, cardiovascular di- uh, disease and the deaths so basically now you know based on this study uh, what should you do in the future so first point of course is moderation is the key so which means that you know instead of consuming all the meals in less than 8 hours you could be little moderate and try to take about 12 hours uh, to 14 hour, say 10 to 12 hours to complete the meals and then have over 12 to 14 hours of uh, fasting period second thing is the quality of food matters so what you consume in that 8 so in that 10 to 12 hours also matters so you know having uh, junk food even if it is small junk it can uh, increase the risk of uh, cardiovascular diseases and third is uh, this intermittent fasting such strict one of less than 8 hours uh, eating window is not for everyone so those who are elderly those who have comorbid illnesses those who are multiple medications you should consult your doctor and then only start intermittent fasting and the fourth point is that uh, you know we have to do it under supervision so if uh, you are planning to do this kind of strict intermittent fasting of less than 8 hours of eating period you should do it under supervision of your doctors and nutritionist and finally we need more research data for us to be sure about the potential uh, risks and also the benefits which are associated with intermittent fasting